Good morning, welcome to another virtual service of the Ebenezer Baptist Church of Denver. We welcome you again this morning as we gather together virtually to give God praise and to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Let us recite our foundational scripture together. Then Samuel took a stone, set it up between Mizpah and Shin, and called its name Ebenezer, saying, Thus far the Lord has helped us. Truly the Lord is in the helping business. The psalmist said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Uh, certainly we have a lot to uh, be in prayer about. We know that we've lost two great uh, civil rights icons this week, matter of fact, on the same day. Uh, Representative John Lewis and then Reverend Dr. C.T. Vivian. Both of them were civil rights giants. They paved the way for us and, and, and did what the Lord had signed their hands to do while they were alive. And now, each of them have gone to take their rest. And so we're asking that you be in prayer for the Lewis family and be in prayer for the Vivian family. Also, we want you to be in prayer for Pastor Rose, uh, Pastor Paul Rose, and Sister Jerry Rolls, uh, the entire family is in need of our prayers this morning. Uh, as we mentioned earlier before, uh, earlier this week, our own sister Lottie Cowan uh, went home to be with the Lord. And so let's pray for her children and the entire Cowan family. Let's pray for those who are suffering with the virus, those who are suffering with death, those who are suffering because they don't know who Jesus is as their Savior. Uh, let us be in prayer for all of those persons. We want to acknowledge the fact that uh, this week, Wednesday at 6 p.m., the Ministerial Alliance uh, will be having a prayer walk out in Mount Bello on Allbrook and Uvalda, right behind the 7-Eleven there. They will be having a prayer walk and they will be praying for the young people of our city. Our young people need prayer. Uh, we don't have to worry about uh, the police, anybody else killing us because we, 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 we don't mind killing ourselves. And so we're going to be praying for our young people. Those of you who can and would participate in that prayer walk, again, that's uh, Wednesday at 6 p.m., on Uvalda and Allbrook in Mount Bellum. Let us keep each other in prayer because the prayers of the righteous availeth much in the sight of Almighty God. I'm going to ask that our First Lady would come, our leading lady, and offer prayer this morning. After she has concluded, then we'll turn the service over to Reverend Frank Black. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Father, our Father, we come into you, Lord, because we know who you are and what you're all about. Lord, you are the master, you are the healer, you are the provider, you are the comforter. And Lord, we know that you know what is going on in this world. And Lord, we ask right now, we stretch out toward you today, Lord. We stretch out toward you today, Daddy, because we need you. Lord, we ask right now that you touch the Rose family. Touch Reverend Rose in a mighty way. Touch Lady Rose in a mighty way. Touch the children in the name of Jesus. Surround them on every side, Lord. Have your angels be all around them. Lord, touch the Calvin family, Jesus. Touch the civil rights leaders, Jesus families, Lord. Touch the COVID victims, Jesus. 
Touch our entire Ebenezer Baptist Church family. Because, Lord, we're in need of prayer right now in the name of Jesus. Satan is running rapid in our households, Lord, but I ask right now in the name of Jesus, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Because in you there is power. In you there is healing. In you there is comfort, Lord. Lord, I ask right now that you touch every household under the sound of my voice, Jesus. Lord, I ask right now that you give them financial strength in the name of Jesus. Heal sickness in the name of Jesus. Heal depression in the name of Jesus. Lord, heal the sick, sick world, Lord. Because, Lord, we know that everything, 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 everything that we need is in you, Lord. But, I, Lord, I ask right now that you touch the pastors in this city, Jesus. Touch the pastors in this city, Lord. Give them the direction they need in the midst of this virus crisis in the name of Jesus. Touch your people, Lord. We still need to hear a word from you. Lord, if our ears are plugged, unplug them. If our heart is clogged, Lord, unclog it. Let us be receptive of your word today, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because you are worthy to be praised. And we thank you because you keep on keeping on, Lord. Lord. You keep on blessing us, Jesus, in spite of what is going on. And we say thank you, Lord. Lord, touch those that are watching on live, Lord. Touch those that are watching on YouTube. Touch those that are listening by phone, Lord. We need to hear a word from you, Lord. And we thank you because we claim the victory in your name, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Hallelujah and amen. Now we will hear from the Reverend Nathaniel Black. Amen. I just wanted him to sing a little bit of Never Would Have Made It Without You because we... We cannot do anything without Jesus. Oh, yeah. And we never, never, ever could have made it without him.
Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yes, sir. 
yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. And sometimes you walk alone. selections. We thank God again for our leading lady. Man's the camera for us today. We Bless you, God Reverend. For Desiree on the percussion. Amen. We thank God for all of you who are watching 
on today. Uh, this this week has been a trying week. You know, and as pastors, uh, never get used to death. Never get used to losing folk who have been in our corner for so long. And so it's been one of those weeks that we know that God is good in spite of. And he hears and answers our prayer. I want to call our attention to a very familiar passage of scripture recorded in Habakkuk chapter 3. Habakkuk chapter 3. And I want to read verses 17 through 19 from the New King James Version of the Bible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Habakkuk chapter 3. Verses 17 through 19 yes. from the New King James Version of the Bible. And there these words are recorded. It simply says, though the fig tree may not blossom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nor fruit be on the vine. Yeah. Though the labor of the olive may fail. Yeah. And the fields yield uh, no food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though the flock may be cut off from the fold. And there be no herd in the stars. Mm. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Yes. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord God is my strength. Yeah. He will make my feet like deer's feet. Mm. And he will make me walk on my high heels. Mm. For a few minutes, I want to talk about rejoice in the Lord anyhow. Reverend, help rejoice, yourself. Rejoice yes, in the yes, Lord yes, anyhow. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And how do you act mm. when things are going wrong? When things are going right in our lives, we are the most agreeable people in the world. My God, when my God. When things are going right, there are smiles on our faces, pep in our steps. And we are surrounded by a virtual halo of goodwill, cheer, and enthusiasm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We sing loudly in worship services. We give bold testimonies in Bible studies and Sunday school classes and generally show off a countenance that says, praise the Lord in the <laughs> When things are well with us, we generally say God is good all the time yeah. and all the time God is good. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Have some of us that make a complete turnaround when <laughs> things are not going well in our lives. These are <laughs> times when there is trouble in our families or we are besieged with personal woe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When troubles come, there are some who have extreme difficulty keeping that smile on their face. Yeah, yeah. Or that pet in their step. That cheer they once had seems to dull and their enthusiasm fade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When things are going well, yeah. they smile and give God praise. But when things go wrong, they have no joy at all. My God, my God. For the believer, every day is a good day. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. It is a day of thanksgiving. And, yes. and all is well yes. with our soul. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. The condition of the world may not be oh, right, geez. but because oh, we know who God is, all Reverend. is well oh, with our soul. Oh, For those of us who believe in the power of God, yes. we can testify that this joy I have, hey. the world didn't give it yes. to me, yes. and the world can't take it away. As a nation, we are living in difficult and trying times. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The coronavirus has killed hundreds of thousands of people. Um, and if the virus isn't killing us, we are killing each other. Ooh, Jesus. Help and us, the Jesus. Crooked police are killing our young black men and yeah, women yeah, yeah. every day on the street. We have a racist president who does not mind encouraging other racists to act a fool with us just because we are African American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, All of this makes believers uneasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. even ask the question, where is God? Ah. And why doesn't God intercede and do something about something that will stop the bloodshed that is happening? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But Jesus said these times would come. Ah. In fact, Matthew 24, verse 6 said, Jesus said, 
we would hear a war and rumors of war yeah. as we get close to the end of time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said these things must be, but when we see them, they would be a sign that we are nearing the final age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how should we as believers respond when trouble comes <laughs> our way? Tell us, Pastor. Whether it's personal trouble or national trouble. Yeah, the response ought to be the same. Yeah, we need to keep our faith in God because He will work it out if we let it. Mm. As believers, we should be confident that God is still in control of this world. Our faith should not be shaken by our troubles. Ah, Reverend, we can sing with confidence that song that says, "I'm so glad." Trouble uh, always. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should praise him during good times, but even when times are filled with trouble, we still ought to rejoice in the Lord in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our text for the day focuses on the prophet Habakkuk as he encourages the people of God to have faith despite difficult times. The prophet Habakkuk had the difficult task of preaching to God's people as their country was threatened with war and trouble. From the onset, Habakkuk was disturbed because God seemed to let a wicked nation triumph and appear yeah, victorious yeah. in its, its attempts to bring judgment on the people of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Chaldeans were sweeping westward and appeared set on plunging the nation into war. The nation was on alert because the reports of the activities of its enemies were coming in on a daily basis. Teach us wow. today, Reverend. There was violence and threats of violence everywhere, but God seemed unwilling to act or to stop what was certain to be collision between the two great powers of the yeah. day. Yeah, 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 yeah. This troubled Habakkuk, who could not see the justice in the death of the innocent, and he asked why God seemed to ignore the approaching evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of the trouble the people faced seemed to arise from a little nation, generally ignored and obscure. Yeah, but yeah. But now claiming the attention of every major power in the known world. God speaks to Habakkuk yeah, personally yeah. and shows him how he is working in the events that unfold before him to work out his will, even to the point of using what is obviously evil to accomplish an eventual good. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. God wow. characterizes the national enemy as one that is terrible, dreadful, and void of judgment or dignity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yet wow. there is a vision and response from God for the difficult time because believers were becoming uneasy. Yeah, 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 they yeah. question why their sons and daughters would be plunged into a fight with an evil nation without an appropriate response from their God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Responding to the cries of the people. God shows Habakkuk a prophecy and a vision that reassures the people that he is not sleep. But he's moving behind the scenes to accomplish his will. Yeah. God notes that at the appointed time, the truth of his word shall speak to the world's situation and yeah. life. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. encourage the people to be patient. Yeah. Though it tarry means it may not, it may take a little while to come, but he says it will surely come. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He encouraged all believers to approach. The troubling times with an attitude of faith by saying that the just so shall live. Yeah. Faith. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Habakkuk announced that the world is in God's control. Yes. Not yes. Trump's control, not these crooked politicians' control. Oh, Jesus. But it's in God's control. Yes, sir. And not of those who worship idols and wreak violence or seem to be victorious in their evil way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He proclaimed that God is still in control and master of the universe. He is not asleep, nor has he gone on vacation. Yes, sir, yes, sir. He is yet available to all 
who call upon his name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In essence, what Habakkuk is saying is, be still. Oh, ooh, and watch Jesus. God do his mighty yeah, work yeah, yeah. in mysterious ways. Ooh, you know? say that, Thus, Reverend. Habakkuk concludes that although there are difficult times ahead and troubles all around ah. us, the just shall not give up their faith. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Now understand, living by faith has its implications. Ah. Its implications are spelled out in verses 17 yeah. and 18 of the text. Yeah, yeah. It says, although the fig tree shall not blossom, yeah, yeah. neither shall fruit be in the vine. Yeah, the yeah. The of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, yeah, yeah. and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice. Hey! Oh, yeah. I will yeah. joy yeah. in the God of my salvation. Yeah, 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 yeah. My brothers and sisters, when tough times are threatening and trouble is all around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Believers must resolve to rejoice in the Lord anyhow. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Habakkuk tells us that even in the midst of times of difficulty and despair, we can still find a reason to rejoice. Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes, sir. First of all, we can rejoice because when the economy changes, God stays the same. Hey! When the economy changes for the worse, yes. oh my there are God. many people who lose their praise. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. When their stock investments and their 401ks and their IRAs and other investment plans are doing well, they don't mind rejoicing in the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what if you lose your job? Ah. What if you lose your source of income? What will you do then? Abaka says, even when there are no figs on the fig tree, no fruit ah. on the vine, no yeah, olives, yeah. The, the fields produce no harvest, yeah, and, the yeah, shadows, yeah. and the sheep are lost, that is a sign Ooh. that times are obviously rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Habakkuk said, when times are rough and tough, we should rejoice in the Lord anyhow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? Because economies change, yeah. but God but hey, does not change. Say it, yeah. Reverend. Joseph, you remember, became a ranking government official in Egypt. Yeah, yeah. He predicted that the economy would change, yeah. providing seven years of famine and seven years of prosperity. God showed him how to save in good times and to prepare for difficult times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you remember Job experienced bad times in which he lost all of his money, his investments, and his business enterprises in addition to his children and good health. Yeah, yeah. But Job's response is memorable. He said, the Lord giveth yeah. and the Lord taketh away. Yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord. Our families have endured depressions, good times, and bad yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we have learned is the truth of Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. Yeah, yeah. It says, For I am the Lord. Yeah. I do not change. Yeah. yeah. That is Ooh. why you are not <laughs> already destroyed. Yeah. For my mercy endures forever. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, because sir. God doesn't change. Ah. It doesn't matter what the economy does. We will rejoice in the Lord anyhow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If the cost of living goes up, we will still hey! praise God anyhow because God promises to make a way out of no way. Ah, Reverend. Secondly, uh, we can rejoice because we trust in God. There is a reason why believers are able to have joy in difficult times. Ah, oh, tell it's us today, we Reverend. Trust in God, who is the source of our salvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We may not understand fully what salvation is until we consider that each one of us has someone we can count on to help us when we get our backs up against the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a person who helps us in bad situations and saves our skin. That, that person is said to be our salvation. Yeah, yeah. Well, Habakkuk says that God is our salvation. Ah. He is our backer in all matters. Yeah, yeah, Problems yeah. Problems will not step around 
around us just because we are Christians. Yeah. But we will deal with them with an attitude of victory because we know that God is the source of our salvation and our strength, and he's backing us up all the way. Say that, now, Reverend. The question is, why should we back down when God is backing us up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Psalm 27 one says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of Praise my life. God. Of whom shall I be afraid? Yeah, yeah. That means we have nothing to fear because the God of our salvation will provide for all of us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. David made it clear in the 23rd number of Psalm when he said, The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Yes. The noted songwriter put it this way I trust in God. Wherever I yeah, 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 yeah. Upon the land or on the rolling sea, though come what Teach, may, Reverend. from day to day, yeah, my yeah. heavenly Father watches over me. Yeah. Thirdly, we can rejoice because God is with us during our trial. Oh my God, Lord! The hardest time to praise God Ooh. is during periods of trial. They seem to tear us apart and pull us from side to side. Trials, if we are not careful, can steal our joy and our praise. Yeah, yeah. Look at verse 19 of the text. The word of the hope in Abaca is that God will make my feet like yeah. time's feet, or he will lift me up and make me to walk. On high places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can rejoice in the Lord anyhow because we know that we may not be on higher ground yet. We might be on low ground, but in due time, God will help us to walk on higher ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever valley we are experiencing, in due time, God is promising higher ground. Yes. We can yes. endure the low ground of sickness. Because we know in due time he's going to let us walk on higher ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can endure the low ground of financial distress because we know in due time he will let us walk on higher ground. Yes. Our troubling experience may have us low to the ground, but in due time God <laughs> will make <laughs> us walk on higher ground. Yeah, yeah. Finally, brothers and sisters, while we may be concerned about the perilous times or personal troubles, I start by to tell you there is a blessing for a man or woman who continues to rejoice in the Lord anyhow. Yeah, 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 Reverend. If Abaka said anything about you to uh. Israel, it was that despite the difficulties of the moment, they should continue to rejoice and give thanks to the Lord. The believer who is living through difficult trials mm. continues to praise God because we know that all things work yes. together for yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yes. and love the Lord and are called according uh, to his purpose. Yeah, yeah. So whatever it is that we need, God's grace is sufficient and he will supply it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what we do? We rejoice in the Lord anyhow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if we need to be forgiven, God's mercy is sufficient to yes. forgive us. Yes. So we rejoice in the Lord anyhow. Yeah. Ah. If we need comfort, God's peace is sufficient to comfort us. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So we rejoice yeah. in the Lord anyhow. Reverend. If we need to be satisfied, God's storehouse is sufficient yes. enough to satisfy us, so we rejoice in the Lord. Yes, in yes. If we need healing, God's touch is sufficient to heal us, so we rejoice hey. in the Lord anyhow. If we need to be strong, God's power will Ooh, make us strong. Jesus. So we rejoice in the Lord in, anyhow. anyhow. Teach, Reverend. If we need to be refreshed. God's fountain is able to refresh us. So we rejoice in the Lord anyhow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why should we praise God in our trouble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm surrounded by sickness and 
financial difficulty and family woes and money problems. Why should I praise the Lord? I'm glad you asked. Ja, you know, Reverend. We should praise the Lord because such times are the times in our lives when we show the level yes. of our faith and our spiritual strength. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And when it's all over, we will be more valuable to the kingdom uh, than we've ever been. Oh, wow, Reverend. No matter what comes up in my life, I will rejoice Joyce. in the <laughs> Lord anyhow. Yeah, yeah. May not feel good all the time, yeah. but I'm going to rejoice anyhow. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because he's rest for the weary. He's strength to the weak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's peace for the troubled. He's assurance for the ancient. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's comfort for the lonely. Yeah, yeah. I will rejoice in the Lord anyhow. <laughs> because he's help. Helpless. Yes, sir. He's yeah. Hope for the hopeless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's rest for the restless. He's life for the lifeless. Yeah, yeah. And he's a friend to the friendly. Yes, sir. Yeah. I will rejoice in the Lord anyhow yeah. because he woke me up early this morning. Yeah, yeah. And he started me on my way. Yeah, yeah. He let me sleep too yes, late, sir. but he woke me right on time. Yes, sir. Help and yourself, Brownie. But because I know who God is, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. can rejoice anyhow. Yes, yes, yes sickness sir. is all around. Yeah. Ah. But I can rejoice anyhow. Yes, sadness is all around. But I will rejoice yes. anyhow. Yes, sir. Because God is still on the throne. And God is still in the blessing business. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. Your faith. That's Hold it. Yes, sir. Faith. And hold on, as Sister Rose Davis would say, to God's unchanging hand. Ah. And watch God work things out in your life. Yes, sir. Yeah, I will rejoice in the Lord anyhow. anyhow. Come what may from day to day. Hey. I will rejoice in the Lord. Yes, God bless you and God keep you. That's a good word, Reverend. Yes. Yes. show up right on time every time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And God for that. We certainly want to 
encourage all Ebenezer members to call in to our uh, Zoom application, participate in Bible study that's coming Tuesday night. Yes, sir. At 6.45 p.m. We have a good time on Tuesday night. Dr. Cheryl Williamson is doing a marvelous job in leading the Bible study. And we ask that you would certainly join in, uh, follow the instructions that we send out every Tuesday and join us on Zoom or just call in and listen audibly without using the Zoom app. You can do that as well. And then we encourage you to call in to our uh, teleconference line on Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. Uh, Reverend Gerald Caldwell and Deacon Fred Hutnall and Deacon Carlton Mathis and Dr. Cher Williamson, they do a marvelous job in leading our Sunday school class each Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. So let's call in. We've got to use this time wisely. We don't have to spend time traveling and driving and all that kind of stuff. All we got to do is uh, get our phone in our hand and call in and participate in all this kind of stuff because we need a word from the Lord. Tell it, Reverend. And we need a word everywhere we turn around because anytime you turn on the news and all that, we get bad news all the time. We need a word from the Lord. And so we ask that you would take uh, every advantage of all of these religious uh, educational opportunities to learn more about God through his word. We thank you for joining us once again for a virtual worship service. We pray that something was said or done that will encourage you to hold out just a little while longer. And remember, no matter what comes up in your life, remember to always rejoice in the Lord anyhow. Because he's good and he's good all of the time. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for what our eyes have seen and our ears have heard. But no most of our God, we thank you for what our hearts have felt. We thank you, God, for your word that challenged us, that reminded us that we ought to rejoice in you anyhow. No matter what's going on around us, we cannot let circumstances or trials and tribulations steal our joy or our praise. Lord, bless those who are going through bereavement. Bless those who are suffering with uh, sickness and illness. Bless those, God, who don't have sense enough to call upon your name. And we ask God that you would bless every church that's open in your name. Bless every preacher that stands in your name. And Lord, bless every believer that stands and proclaims that you are good and you're good all the time. Keep us now and bless us. We ask it in Jesus' name and we give you thanks and praise. But it's in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. God bless you. Have a great week.